True Hoop TV, where David Thorpe is here to tell us about this incredible NBA rookie draft class. How's it going, David? Well, maybe they have to reschedule. It's not it's not going well, Henry. It's a bloodbath out there. It is a lot of bad players making a lot of bad plays who really have no idea what they're doing. Uh, although, let's be fair, it's the best league in the world. These are the best players in the world. And in some cases, some really great coaching going on against them. And so, of course, they look bad. They're kids playing with men. Uh, but luckily, but, but usually at this game. point, there's somebody out of the mix, out of 30-plus rookies, yeah. somebody yeah. just shines early, and we don't have that. Well, not, not if you call shines being the guy that, like, wow, look how great he's playing, and right. he's actually got the numbers to back it up. But there is one guy that's, that's definitely caught my eye. He did this summer. In fact, I think a lot of people noticed him. And maybe it's a surprise, although he was a very high draft pick. Dante Exum has been good. He's been solid, not spectacular. He's got a lot of natural, spectacular talent inside of him, but he's modulating it. He's controlling it. You see it here and there. And because of that, because he's controlling it and showing it sometimes, whereas some guys are so controlled, they're making no plays happen, he is doing both. So right now, I think he's the best rookie in the class and has the chance to be the best rookie but there's a lot of other guys that will be coming on strong later this year and, of course, in the future years. What about Nerlens? Love him. I think, I think that he is a work in progress offensively. I think we all knew that. Uh, he's, uh, this is a really important point I'll make about Nerlens as well. He's surrounded by garbage. And I don't mean garbage as in bad players if they're playing in rec ball or in college. This is the NBA. He is not playing, in the, for the most part, with other NBA basketball players, although I do like the other rookie, K.J. McDaniel. He's actually having one of the best rookie seasons of all of anyone so far. He's a nice player. But I think that New Orleans will look so much better if you just plugged him into New Orleans or plugged him into San Antonio or Cleveland or any of these really good teams or at least teams with more veteran, solid, mature talent. But on that team, it's hard to say. He's going to be really good, I think. He's already doing glass work and defensive stuff, but... We can't really test his offense until he's actually surrounded with basketball players that can play in this league. We haven't mentioned the words Andrew Wiggins or Jabari Parker. Well, it, both guys have situations where, in fact, I was watching Jabari last night where I thought, ooh, you know, he just, he made a play. I'm like, is that even him? Because it was an athletic play. And then a lot of times you don't notice them at all. And Andrew, Andrew Wiggins, same thing. There are times where you're just like, you know, obviously, I've talked about this on your show before, amazing elite level athletic talent actually can shoot the ball, but the game's way too fast for him. He, he's kind of he's just out there, has no idea what he's doing yet. He's got some good players around him, although Rubio going down, Henry, crushes him because Rubio was really starting to play like, like a high-level point guard, setting guys up. And, and Zach, Levine, Zach Levine, another rookie who, who has a lot of talent but is trying to really control it, which is great, but he's not doing anything for anyone right now. So I think Wiggins' game will suffer even more. Again, in the short term, I think he's a can't miss guy in terms of being a great player. Uh, I don't know yet how fast it'll be. And I think Parker, too, is super talented. He's just these guys are much better than him right now. All right. Rough start for the rookies. Thank you, David. We'll be back. Giddy up.